I'm serious when I say this. And I don't always get serious. And I'm serious. I was flipping the page. And, well, I know that 37 comes after 36. And 40, well, it comes before 39. And 44 and 45, well, they're supposed to be there. You know, it was all missing. So I didn't have the proper context to put it together. Now, I can't say that it's intentional because it could be the case that it didn't exist to begin with. And it's in my mind. I'm imagining it. It's an illusion. But some people are saying that it was there. It was always there. And it's been removed. And they don't know whether it's by nefarious means or not. You can't quite tell. Because you don't know who the culprit is. Well, the culprit is not told to you. It might be known. But it's not told. You know? It's an omission. And it's up to you to determine the magnitude of the omission. But an omission, if it's an intentional, it's a lie. Omission of the truth is a lie. At least that's logic. That's, well, it follows the logical coordinates in philosophy. Some people might debate it. I'm not a philosopher, nor a debater. I'm kind of well-versed in some of it. But don't put me up against your best people. Find your worst people. Anyway, an omission, if it's intentional, is a lie. And there's a lot of missing pages. We don't know if they're gone intentionally or unintentionally. I want to be able to read the book in its full scope, full capacity, without any omissions. Because if you're lying, well, we got to know. And if you're telling the truth, well, we got to know. An omission, if it's intentional, is still a lie. 